Samsung is already selling a bezel-less smartphone in the industry and what Apple has to offer now is more than just a bezel-less phone. You're watching India Today Tech and in this video, we're going to tell you about the latest rumors that are shaping up the iPhone 8 and what will be its key features, specs and the expected price and the availability date. Let's take a look. The latest rumor not only gives us the information about the side bezels of the iPhone 8 but the fact that it will be having a very little top and bottom bezel. Apple is set to be launching three iPhone models this year. One is the anniversary edition and two others that are said to be the incremental updates to the iPhone 7. But we will be talking about the anniversary edition that is being called the iPhone 8. The phone will have a bezel-less design of course, but it will be using an OLED display this time unlike the LCD screens that iPhones were using. The screen will not be curved like the Galaxy S8 but will have a very minimal bezel around the side corners and on the top and the bottom. In fact, the bottom bezel is completely gone and it is being called the functional area where in-screen keys will reside and which will also act as an area for notifications. The top bezel is also reduced but Apple has also cleverly kept the earpiece and camera and other sensors on the bezel and provided the display area as well by cutting the bezel into a very narrow portion. The display area beside the earpiece will be used to show battery and connection informations. But the fact that Apple has removed the physical touch ID button from the bottom brings us to a new mystery. Where will the company be keeping the new touch ID fingerprint sensor? Some say it will be put underneath the display. Others say that it will be on the power key and it could also be on the back. Now the leaks say there are only two prototypes that are being tested right now by Apple and only one has been finalized. That is, one prototype will be having a fingerprint sensor either placed underneath the display or on the power key. Depending on the demand that Apple is expecting and the way it is able to execute that technology onto the phone and bring it to consumers. The prototype B is all about the facial recognition that if ever Apple is not able to bring in front fingerprint sensor, it will completely remove it and bring in a facial recognition sensor that will unlock the phone when you point it at your face. What I and many of the Apple fans would like to see is that Apple bringing in a fingerprint sensor that is placed underneath the display. It is a marvelous technology of course and iPhone 8 will be the first phone to sport that kind of technology. It will be pretty cool. But given the fact that Apple is aiming to ship a huge amount of phones given the demand and the fact that this technology is not easy to incorporate in huge amount of phones, it is quite dicey right now. Another important part of the bezel-less design that was brought forward by a Forbes report is that the bezels on the side will be around 4mm in size. This is being deliberately kept by Apple to prevent accidental touches that you must have experienced on the Galaxy S7 Edge or the Galaxy S8 when you're using it with one hand to access the other side of the screen. Talking about the screen itself, Apple will be using OLED display this time. The organic light emitting diode type display is being used by Samsung already that gives better color reproduction and much more brightness than the LCD screens. OLED displays are flexible modules that will also allow Apple to reduce the thickness of the iPhone. And in fact, they also consume very less power compared to the LCD screens, which will allow the iPhone 8 to give a much better battery backup. It is being said that the iPhone 8 will come with a 5.8 inch display, but only 5.2 inches of it will be usable. The rest will be used for displaying keys or notifications. Though iPhone 8 will be made in a stainless steel metal body, it won't look something like the iPhone 7 because leaks claim that it will be putting glass on the back of the iPhone 8. So iPhone 8 may in fact come with wireless charging, but it will be something like that on the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy S7, wherein you would need to purchase a separate accessory from the market, a pad of sorts, wherein you can just place the phone and it will get charged. The metal and glass design also point towards a possibility that the iPhone 8 will be water resistant. And unlike the iPhone 7, it might be IP68 water resistant, wherein you can put the phone in under one meter depth for up to 30 minutes. Talking about the ports, latest designs have confirmed iPhone 8 will be having two speaker grills at the bottom, but it may be only single speaker. The second speaker needed for a stereo speaker setup would be an amplified earpiece, just like the iPhone 7. Now, as for the charging port, there is the usual lightning port and as you can see, there is 
a missing headphone jack. This is something that we are quite confident about. Two another great upgrades that we'll see on the iPhone 8 is the dual camera on the back that comes with 3D sensing and the A11 chipset. The A11 chipset is built on the 10 nanometer process. That is the next step in the iPhone's processing hardware. Unlike the A10 that was built on the 60 nanometer process, the A11 will be much faster and will be more power efficient. It will be paired with 3 GB of RAM and probably 128 gigabytes of storage that was introduced with the iPhone 7 Plus. The other two models that will be announced alongside the iPhone 8 will also get the A11 chipset but with a lesser amount of RAM and storage on the base variant. Now as you must be knowing, Apple iPhone 8 comes with dual cameras on the back. There's not much information about the sensors but many say that it will be very similar to the iPhone 7 Plus. That is one sensor that captures normal images and one with a zoom lens. The only change that rumors say that will come on the iPhone 8 is that not only this zoom lens will have better optical quality but it will come with optical image stabilization as well that was missing on the iPhone 7 Plus. But the major thing you must have heard about the iPhone 8 is that the cameras are now placed vertically instead of horizontally and Apple is planning to bring in better augmented reality features. Now every camera supports augmented reality. It's all about the software that's on the phone. For example, you must have been playing the game Pokemon Go on your phone. That is all about augmented reality. But this time around, Apple will be including dedicated sensors and a vertical cavity surface emitting laser. That is the VCSEL. It means that it will be able to measure depth or distance very accurately. But what it means for us camera users is that the autofocus will become much more accurate and responsive. In fact, this 3D sensing technology is also being paired with the front camera for 3D facial recognition. Though these lights and lasers will be invisible, they will give the camera a very fair and accurate idea of what it is looking at. Now, generally we have seen that iPhones launch in September and have a price tag of around $700. But this time around, it is being said that iPhone 8 will both come late and will be more expensive than the usual iPhones that we see. Its price could be anywhere between $1000 to $1200 and its launch date could be extended to October or November. But the possible reason for this could be a new design, the better cameras or the AR sensors. The on-screen fingerprint sensor is another reason why the iPhone 8 might be delayed. But some analysts say that it would be on time. Apple will be launching the iPhone in September only but it may be in short supply given the fact that the OLED displays are in very short supply. The company is able to source only 4 to 5 million units of them in its first round. And in fact to produce phone on time, it is being said that Apple is even purchasing the manufacturing equipment and giving it to suppliers to produce the components required on the iPhone 8. So these were the major rumors about the iPhone 8 and if you have anything to add to the list, please let us know in the comment section below and as always, Subscribe to our channel for more stuff like this. Thank you for watching.